Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to import your model from Rhino to Blender. So here for example we want, uh, let's say we want to import uh, this model in Blender. So before exporting this, uh, you want to create a reference point um, which is useful uh, when you export something with uh, many components like in this case. So you're going to create a point and uh, you're going to put it uh, somewhere um, here for example and uh, to put it higher so that it's easy to select it then you're going to select what you want to export like this and then you're going to do export select export selected with origin so here you're going to select your origin and the origin will be uh, the point that we just created Note that uh, you can take any origin uh, that you want. It's just that it's easier to snap on uh, a point which is uh, already predefined, like this one. So click on your point, and then you give it a name, let's say Lego, and you put the format OBG. OBG. Then you do save. In geometry, you want to put a polygon mesh object. In formatting, you want to remove um, export material definition in order to not have the second file, which is the MLT file. In naming, you want to put as OBG uh, objects, uh, and this will allow you to have all your individual polysurface to be as one single mesh. So if, for example, you put do not export object name, you're going to have one single mesh, while if you put as OBG objects, you're going to have as many mesh as object as you have. Then into mesh, uh, you're going to select welded and, and then you press, you can press OK. So here you have either the simple control or the detail control. Um, you don't want to go too much into detail here. You can just uh, slide this depending on the amount of detail you want. So let's put, uh, let's put a more polygon here, then OK. So it's exporting. And then in Rhino, you're going to go to File, Import, Wavefront, and you're going to select your um, your object. And in scale, you want to put uh, 0.001 because when you import something from Rhino to Blender, you always end up with objects which are way too big. So 0.001 is basically going to import it as a correct scale. And then import, then it's going to import it. And here it is. So you have your uh, your model, and as you can see, you can select individually each uh, each mesh and move it. And also, you can see I'm going to move the cursor that each center of uh, each origin of of the mesh is at the same point, which is the point that we defined earlier. So this is particularly helpful if, let's say. Uh, you want to re-import something from Blender and you want to align it with this. So let's say that um, I want to have this, okay, let's say a bit smaller, scale on the here. And then I want to re-export it, so I can just re-export this, uh, this one. So I'll select it and do export uh, with origin. And then uh, you're going to select your point as the origin. You're going to name it Lego. Uh, wheel and save then you put the same specification okay and then when you go back into blender let's move this here if you re-export it re-import it so obg lego wheel same scale then it's going to be here and the nice thing is that even if it would have appeared here you can move this at the correct place by putting the cursor at the origin. So you put your cursor with Shift S um, cursor to active, and then you select uh, your uh, newly imported uh, object, and you do Shift S again, and you do selection uh, to cursor. And here you see the origin it's going to move to the cursors. In this way, you will have aligned this in the same way it was aligned in Rhino. So that's how you import uh, your model from Rhino to Blender.